today is Valentine's Day. Unlike most of these people in chat that have beautiful girlfriends and or boyfriends, I'm lonely. So I have Nintendo to keep me covered. <laughs> in today's stream video, I will be ranking the best of 2023 Nintendo waifus. We also have spe special package I'm opening at the end of the video. All right, let's get right into it. Here we have beautiful 25 Nintendo waifus. Instead of, instead of ranking characters on S to D, we have Marry Me, Stunning, Beauty, Cute, <laughs> and Tasteful. I know a lot of people are like, what? What about this character? What about this character? We already did a lot of them in a previous stream before. We'll probably bring them back next Valentine's Day, but these are all new characters we haven't rated before in their 2023 versions. So we got Splatoon 3, Callie, Marie. We also got Zelda's new haircut. Let's start off with Advanced Wars Reboot Camp. If you guys don't know, this girl's name is Sammy. She should crush my head with her thighs any day of the week. I do think this is a clear mid tier or beauty tier. She is an absolute beaut. When I say stunning, I mean, when I see this character, I am in shock. I am standing there like. <laughs> Next from Advanced Wars, we have Neho. So if you guys don't know, Way Forward is making the Advanced Wars 1 plus 2 reboot him. And they're also the same people who make Shantae. And I could definitely see that in some of their design. I think she's just cute. I think we're all, dang, we're, we're all in agreement. Is she just basic blonde? Nothing wrong with being a basic blonde, if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't know. And actually, I didn't know she was this short. Oh, she's a shorty. She works worryingly young. She is not, she, all these characters are of age. I'm gonna say stunning. She is like wife material because she's also a content creator for me. This is tough. Are we including personalities? It's all about the personality, guys. If we're basing it off career choices and lives are then it actually makes sense. Streamer X, streamer crafty. For overall looks, I do like the pastel colors she has going on. Okay, she's marry me. She's probably bottom of marry me because we're gonna have more marry me's in here. Next, we have... I think probably one of the worst character designs to come out of Scarlet and Violet, uh, Greta. Can we put her in Tasteful? Her, her hair is mimicking the Pokemon, that one rock Pokemon that she uses that's supposed to be her ace, but she uses at the end, even though it's a setup Pokemon. Hopping right into the next one. We got Elisa from Black and White 2. She dyed her hair black. Uh, I remember last time we did the Black and White 1 version where she was blonde. Either way, you think she is stunning. When I saw her remade, I was stunned because she dyed her hair. Just look at her. Don't know about the puffer jacket. It's barely on her, but you know. Next, we have the one, the only, Cynthia. I would marry Cynthia, but she's too good for me. <laughs> oh my God. There's a clip. I'll have to ask my roommate for this. I say, and I quote, why can't she step on me? I'm not gonna elaborate. I think she's in stunning still. Because I think in Marry Me, you have to have the looks and the personality. And to be honest, I love her work ethic. Her work ethic is crazy. But maybe it's just not a fit for me. I'm just too lazy. So I think it's fair to put her in stunning. But Green, on the other hand, forgotten character lost to time. Official age 25. Throw that out there. Come on. Come on. Neon. Neon says Q tier? No. She has the personality, she has the drive to be the best, but she's also knows when to be lazy. I'll put her bottom of beauty, but guys, come on. I do think she'd marry me and I'm just throwing that out there, okay? Look at that, oh my God. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Next, we got the one, the only Pyra. Fun fact, I've never touched a Xenoblade game, but I have simped for these characters the most. <laughs> these two are top tier easily. They're just both top of stunning. The, just which one is better? <laughs> this is a debate in and of itself. The, okay, the whole reason I like Pyra more than Mithra is the whole Sundere vibe that she has going on. I'm not a fan of um, Sundere is in real life and in video games. <laughs> I think we all simp for Pyra. Mithra though, still top tier. <laughs> in Smash, they really did cover a lot of skin. Let's go to one... 
Look at Zelda and her cut hair. Marry me. I honestly think so. I don't care if she's not a content creator. She is wife material. She is ready to go on an adventure. And I swear if they do not let us play with a computer like Zelda in Breath of the Wild 2, I'm going to legitimately sell both of my switches i want her to not be playable to still be there on the journey yeah can cook adventurous submissive <laughs> and breedable whoa <laughs> is she better than iona though i think i vibe more with iona than zelda zelda is kind of a sundere as well she didn't want anything to do with you until link actually saved you maybe she's top of she's stunning i know stays top for now okay the difference i feel with zelda is the reason why she's a sundra is different than a lot of other stereotypical ones and that is why i like her so much my girlfriend says stunning tier okay i think she's top of stunning because literally she is stunning all right <laughs> one that can actually beat zelda i feel like why did they make impa from age of calamity why did they make her so cute? She could beat you up. She could cook for you. Like the, the thing with Zelda, Zelda's more, um, what does Sakurai say? Zelda's While she more isn't into more into fighting, uh, research so than fighting. Is. No, she is literally fighting, research, and those, oh, look, she's the perfect package. There is a complete marry me. She bad. <laughs> okay, she's better than Iona in every way. Enough about that. Let's go to Pura. Pura, if you guys don't know, in Breath of the Wild, um, the first game, gets shrunk down due to an experiment accident, and she's a little midget. But this is before that happens, and this is Age of Calamity design. I don't know. She's a little too sassy for me. I thought it was a bath towel. No, that's her hair. That's her hair. I think I'm a more hair down kind of guy than a hair up kind of guy. So are we putting her in cute or tasteful? Top of tasteful? I think she's... She, she still has better qualities than Greta. <laughs> Next, we have Mifa. I'm gonna have to say cute. I like her design. I'm just not into fish. Next one we have up being a deep cut. If you guys know who this is, I'm gonna be surprised. I'm gonna let chat guess really quick before I reveal it. She looking motherly? Oh no, Ranch Girl? It is Ranch Girl, I believe. It's from Link's Awakening. Here it is, one of my best performing tweets. <laughs> This is Marin from Link's Awakening. This is her Hyrule Warriors version, which I think is probably her best version because I'd rather not be into a toy. Uh, very, she's a very kind person in the game. Overall, bottom of beauty tier. Bottom of beauty. Okay, but she, she is, she is a beaut. So now we have Zero Suit Samus, which we most likely see again with Metro Prime Four. I will let Samus do unspeakable things to me. If we're gonna put Nell in cute, and they're kind of the same thing. Bottom of beauty. I think I think Marin is better than Samus. Bottom of beauty. Okay. Now this character is cute tier. All right. If you want a girlfriend that is the definition of Nintendo Switch, um, this is from Fire Emblem Awakening. I forgot. I don't know how you pronounce the name. Alir, I think. <laughs> Pepsi shot. This gamer girl right there. Exactly. Oh, hold on. It should be like this. It should be like this. What is going on? I think she's in the middle of Pyramithra. She's like, if you wanted both of them combined, you got her. This is the first time I've ever seen any of the Fire Emblem Awakening characters and they're doing something. We should just do a, a anime waifu tier list because that's what all these characters be looking like. Red hair just makes them automatic beauty tier. Better than Samus, not mm, right here. This gives me Genshin vibes. I mean, it gives me anime vibes, which is also Genshin vibes. I, I personally would probably put her top of beauty, but we'll go with that because of chat. Next one, we have Veil. Honestly, the white hair is doing it for me again. The white aesthetic with purple is nuts. It is absolutely, yeah, she is stunning. I'm gonna pass on this. Okay, this is literally, whoa, this is the most I've seen chat broke it apart. I'm putting her in stunning. You guys could have green, in beauty tier, but I am having Veil and Stunning. Right, next one we have is Chloe. This one though, I like the anime art style, yeah, but Chloe though, she ain't doing it for me. I think she's tasteful. Yeah, she seems like the person that you'd meet inside of a guild hall that actually knows stuff, but won't go on a raid with you or won't go on a mission. I think she's 
middle of tasteful. And Neon wants to make a proposal really quick. I'll let him voice his concerns. He gets 10 seconds. Uh, so my proposal is you swap okay. her and green out because frankly, I just I just prefer I just prefer green over that, bro. I th I like that. Okay, thank you for your input. <laughs> Veil does she? <sighs> okay, enough about that. We'll get into the Splatoon characters starting with Shiver. I think these characters are gonna be tough. Shiver is an instant smash. Tasteful, she's more of a menace, cold blooded like a shark. If you guys really think tasteful, I would be inclined to agree with you. Honestly, her proportions are off. It's like big head, small neck. I don't even know what you want to call this. Thin rectangle. Okay, going to the next one. Fry with the Arabian theme. It definitely has 10 times more drip than Shiver does. I love the baggy pants. Overall W. I think it is an overall W. I think she is... Is she better than Samus? I think she's better than Samus. I think she's beauty. Okay, okay. Now for the two characters. I love what they did to the Splatoon 3 Callie Marie. I love the whole black and yellow and then white and yellow. I want to start off really quick saying Marie. Top tier. Look at, she's a military general. She is ready to, I don't, I don't know. I used to be Cali Stan. I I voted for Cali in the Spot Fest, but I don't know something about Marie just kind of draws me to her. Ever since Splatoon 2, I think it's the whole Japanese aesthetic. I also found out she's 27. Oh, she's 24. All right, but last one we got the one to just destroy all of them. We're gonna have to make a new. We'll call it the Kirby tier. <laughs> Y'all know it ain't gonna suck itself. <laughs> Realistically, all debates grow out the window. It's neither thick nor thin, neither. Kirby is stunning. Kirby is a stunning character. Yeah, Kirby is stunning. Nintendo's cooking. Honestly, Nintendo's waifu selection did grow from last year. All right, though, this is the final tier list. If you guys want to do this tier list, I'm gonna have a link in the description below and also in my Discord server. You could share your images of what you would rate them. But that is our final tier list. And we have one more thing to do before we end this stream and video. <laughs> this isn't it! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, it's a different package. Here we go. This is what I got. Asuna is my one and only anime waifu. Hold on. I have the package right here. I got this about five days later. Way later than I expected. But oh my god. Look at her. And I expect to see her back there next stream. This is our final tier list. I hope you guys had a great Valentine's Day. And yeah. Still got no girlfriend. <laughs>